Y254. Imagine. Welcome back to Entrepreneurship Tuesday. My name is Michelle Ashiro. You can follow us across all our social media platform. That is at Y254 channel. And we are on our next segment. Uh, before I give you the question of the day, we are looking at how to restore confidence uh, post-COVID-19 because we all want to travel. I'm all about planning my next vacation. And if you're planning also, we... we Mimi na webe tuko hapa, mimi na webe hapa. And I'll tell you who the person to talk to when it comes to matters of tours and uh, travel. So uh, my guest, the person I'm talking about is the founder of Tokyo Ventures. And she's been into uh, co commercial experience of product and service industry for 10 good years. Waringa Kimani. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Thank you very much for coming through. Asante Sana, thank okay. you for hosting me. All right, so yeah. if I've missed anything uh, that uh, I'd like to call you serial entrepreneur. Because <laughs> I've looked at you uh, a couple of uh, projects that you do when it comes to looking for money. Mula, yes. <laughs> and also definitely inspiring young people into business just as an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. You're not just into tour and travels. You, you, Waringa, you are deal with so many other ventures so i'd like you to uh, probably tell of yours if i've missed anything wo uh, that waringa does um let me just say apart from tours i do some nice fruity yummy <laughs> jumps yes and this is a covid baby that was born oh, yeah. yes okay so mm. guys back at home head on to our facebook page and you have a question for you right there remember you can reach out to us that is as simple as y254 channel uh, that is on facebook and also uh, on instagram that is y254 underscore uh, channel and we have a question for you and you're asking how often do you buy uh, new clothes and uh, where do you get them because you're looking at good quality at an affordable price so Coming back to tour and travel, because most of us are looking forward to just going back to the new normal yeah. and uh, uh, the aspect of just uh, gathering with family and friends in a safe way. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, we look we look into that. So I'd like to find out, mm -hmm. uh, can we restore confidence in Kenyans when it comes to going back post-COVID-19 when it comes to tour and travel? Um, yes, we can, but I guess what COVID has done to us, it has taken us back to that come mode of restore factory, you know, mm -hmm. that is where it has taken us back to rethink, think outside the box. What if COVID doesn't go, what next? So we all have to think outside the box on what next, but yes, there's restoration at the end of the day, there's light at the end of the day. Yeah, and we look forward to, we're just hopeful where we are right now. We're just hopeful that things will get better. But what if they don't? Okay. Have you thought about it? Because it seems it will be the new norm now. Living with masks, mm. you know? Yes. Keeping that, you know, and all that. Yeah. yeah. But we just have to be focused and keep it sane. Okay. As the best way we can. All right. Yeah. So uh, we'll get to look into a couple of ways where we can actually restore confidence mm -hmm. uh, from Kenyans just to get back to the new norm of just uh, a vacation, to and travels, just enjoying themselves yeah. with family and friends. But right now, I'd like us to find out uh, about Tokyo Ventures, the reason why we are here, uh, the tour travel company. So tell us more about Tokyo Ventures. Um, Tokyo Ventures is a tour and travel company. We sell experience, adventure, mm -hmm. and the whole journey from when you start your traveling 
to the last day. Oh, That's us. And we are more of personalization, key on personalization. Mm -hmm. I won't just tell you I have a package tomorrow. Can you buy it? I want to hear from you. What do you want? What do you expect? Is there anything extra you want in that package? I listen more to my clients, then I'll give ideas. And yeah, that's what we are about. And for corporates, we do team building. Basically, we do employee engagement programs. Okay. Yes. So for how long have you guys been into business? As to Kyo Ventures, since 2017. But personally, I've been in, in it since 2013 with a different company. Mm -hmm. Yes. So for someone who is watching and uh, he or she just ca she's just come across to Kyo Ventures right now, mm -hmm. we'd like to give them a feel of what exactly happens if they come to your office. And uh, uh, let's assume I'm the client here. Mm -hmm. I want to travel to probably Seychelles, Maldives, or uh, wherever that I intend to. Mm -hmm. Does uh, the company, the tour and travel company, offer international uh, travel? Yes, we do both local and mm -hmm. international. Mm -hmm. Yes. So from when you enter to their office, mm -hmm. I'll definitely want to listen to you. What are you looking at? What is your budget like? Yes. And then I'll cater for your needs. Oh. I'll listen to you more than what I'll tell you. And then from there now we can da 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 da. I'll tell you for your budget, maybe of 10,000, mm -hmm. 20,000, I can give you this. Yeah. Okay. It's basically that. During this time mm -hmm. of uh, the pandemic, uh, yeah. where we are minimizing mm -hmm. movement and gathering, are there some of the packages that uh, the company has that we can probably uh, spend more time with family and friends, maybe during the weekend? And just yes, 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 yes. We are selling the Nairobi National Park, mm -hmm. and it's really selling. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, what are the packages? How, the, how are the packages looking like? The packages, like, um, the packages start from around 1800 to 3000 but a minimum of six people per vehicle mm -hmm. those are the restrictions and the day it's it's a six hours experience from when you're picked from home get into the park have your game drive do your picnic then you're dropped home at the end of the day it's about the people you're with what you want to feel and that's what we'll give you Okay. Yeah. Right. So for someone who is watching uh, uh, this particular conversation and they love the idea of venturing into the tour and travel, mm -hmm. so early on we were having a conversation about uh, shifting from one career to another. Yes. So probably they developed this interest. Mm -hmm. uh, what type of background do one needs? Do one actually needs to uh, start off start off a business in tour and travel? Uh, you have to have a background in tourism. Mm -hmm. Yes, you have to. For your own business, you also have to have some manage management skills and all. Yes, you just don't wake up one day. In actually, it's in every career. You just don't wake up one day and just say, "I want to do this." You have to go learn it. It's not like it's not like when you're pro producing something, which you can be taught. Like if I'm I'm to make chicken, you can go through YouTube. You can go through whatever whatever and get the skills from there. But some things you have to learn. You have to learn how to make an itinerary. You have to learn how to do those calculations. You have to learn how not to backtrack. You have to learn so many stuff. You have to know the animals. If, if you're a guide, you have to know so much. Yes. But it's, it's, it's not an easy industry, mm -hmm. but we strive. OK. So allow me to take you back, mm -hmm. uh, back to 2017 when you started this particular company. Yeah. Uh, what was your initial capital? <sighs> my capital was my clients. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yes. <laughs> okay. So how did you gather about uh, just uh, uh, your clients to just invest into your business? Um, from where I was working, mm -hmm. I was a director. Okay. But the company had to stop and I had to restart again. So I can say Tokyo is so new like I had to restart from scratch like trying to win my clients, why I'm not in this company, why this company had to be closed, and why it took you. Mm -hmm. So I had to gain that confidence that you can, we can still go with Tokyo, you can still travel with Tokyo. At the end of the day, it's only the name has changed, or, but I'm still Waringa, 
providing the same exactly. services. Yes. All right. So I can't say I started with capital, um, but my clients, mm -hmm. they also pushed me. You can do this. Yeah. They believed in you and They believed in me, yes. Looking at probably uh, a reference of your project that you actually done and they were involved. Yeah. Okay, so you have a, a taste of uh, a little bit of the both side of the world, employment and entrepreneurship. Yeah. What's your take? <sighs> For me, <laughs> entrepreneurship any day. Why? Any day. Okay, why? Uh, being my own boss has really toughened me like big time and knowing how to juggle business myself my children and all that it has really toughened me at least i'm um, where i am today i believe it's if it were not of entrepreneurship i don't know i don't know if i'll have grown this much yeah but it has really toughened me and i love that about it because at times employment might put you in that comfort zone and you're like, I'm not growing here. I need to keep, keep, keep doing this and that for me to get that promotion, for me to maybe try another field or something. But with entrepreneurship, you're the accountant. When you start, you're the accountant, you're the messenger, you're everything in that company when you start. Yeah. So you get, you get all the experiences okay. at the same time. Right. Yeah. I love the fact that you point across a very important aspect where you, you spoke about when, you, when it comes to employment, there's a certain of com being comfortable. Because yeah. at the end of the month, you're sure there's a certain of uh, you know, your the job checking salary, in. so yeah. a check will be coming through. Yeah. So, but when you venture into entrepreneurship, it's all you. It's all you. Especially when you're just starting up. I'd like to find out what motivates you, what makes you like wake up every single morning mm. and be so much dedicated to, to Q Ventures. Oh, my kids, because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, they depend on me. <laughs> they and I'm a single really mother, so <laughs> okay. you just have to at the end of the day. So mm -hmm. my kids really motivate me. The other thing that keeps me going, rejection. When you reject me, I'll show you, baby, I can do it. Oh, right. Yes. Uh, uh, that's a different angle, and I, uh, that's a very impressive yeah. angle. By yeah, the when way. you try to tell me, by the way, you cannot do it, imagine I'll show you I'll do it. So for me to prove that point, that I can do it, yeah, that motivates me. And also the girl I want to be. You have that picture of you, Michelle, that yeah. one day, one time, I'll have this and this. And when you don't, when you're not there, you have to keep going. So for me, I look at that girl I want to be, that, that successful lady in all aspects. When I'm not yet there, it really pushes me and wakes me up and all that. Yeah, that motivates me a lot. Yeah. So I look up to myself. <laughs> That's future Waringa. Impressive. Very yes. impressive. So there's so many tour and travel companies out there. So yeah. what, what's your value proposition? For us, uh, how to put it, we invest in our clients. Okay. Yes. I may have two clients and have those two clients for the longest but the experience we give will be something different so for me i really don't rush to numbers i grow with my clients today we started just within nairobi tomorrow we'll go to nairobi national okay tomorrow we'll go to naivasha after a few years we are going to your maldives <laughs> seashells you know yeah <laughs> i i like we we believe in working with the clients mm -hmm and giving them a different taste, a different touch. Even when they are so broke, I'll still tell you, we can still do this. You don't have to run away because you can't afford this and that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we work plus with the personal time Exactly, time. plus the personalization is key. Every client wants to feel special. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. So a huge number of Kenyans have been uh, laid off mm -hmm. uh, during this uh, hard economical times and I would like to find out uh, probably post COVID-19 when mm -hmm. we resume normalcy and uh, just probably that Tokyo Ventures are, are hiring right mm -hmm. what are some of the skills that you people are looking out for um or will be looking out for for people who wants to get into the tour and travel uh, kind of business 
I'm that person mm -hmm. who looks for someone who is willing to learn. If you're not willing to learn, we cannot gel in. Whether you're, you've been a professional in that field for the longest, but if you, can't, if you don't have that chemistry, I can't, uh, I can't just deal with it. But definitely you have to have a tourism background in it. You just don't want to employ an accountant, come and guide my clients, make a package, yet they don't know what that's all about. But if you're an accountant and you're willing to learn and you're willing maybe to get this skill from a certain place, why not? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So just the willingness to learn. The willingness to learn, yeah. That's quite yeah. uh, a good uh, proposition there for someone who wants to get into this line of business. It's quite, quite very simple. Just learn how to be in a position to, to learn something new. Yeah. Hmm. So and to uh, love to, to, uh, to and learn the culture of tours and travel, you know. Okay. You, you, you have to gel in. Absolutely. At the end of the day, yeah. Okay. I'd like to find out the revenue. How does the revenue look like for the company uh, since 2017 till now? Like how many tours do you guys uh, do in a month? Um, it depends okay. with the seasons. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It really depends with the season. Um, if you look at, uh, at a good, let's say, like a, like a good month. Um, like a good month. Uh, on a good month you can do even more than 20 clients or 30 or even 50 because at the end of the day we look at clients either as a group or as an individual mm -hmm. or as a family yes when it comes to corporate that's you're talking of uh, 50 to 100 guys mm -hmm. yeah so it, it, it depends with what you're looking at because for me when I'm dealing I'm dealing with both corporates and both local monainchi yes Right, so, so I wouldn't tell how many clients do you expect, blah, blah. Today, I, ca I, can, I, can, I can fail like, let, let me put it like this. Mm -hmm. Today, I'll have, I won't have any business coming in, maybe even for a whole month. Then a good month comes in and it covers those two months. And that's the beauty about business at times. The Leo flexibility. Konayo, the flexibility, yeah. Today you have, tomorrow you don't have. And that brings another challenge, Yes. which is how do you ensure like uh, the managing aspect of it? Because I, I, I'm absolutely sure like you have people who work uh, for to cure ventures, your employees. Mm -hmm. So especially during these hard economical times, during mm -hmm. this pandemic, how are they coping and uh, looking at the aspect of uh, it's not always a sure deal that every single month that you're going to, re to hit a certain <coughs> Mm. numbers of uh, probably sale on the packages yeah. so how do you cope with that how do you manage that um they all understand <laughs> the state we are in mm. so i'm very lucky they have ventured into something else they are also doing their side hustles mm. but they can't wait to, to come back to it yes I, i'm let me just say i'm blessed to have good employees who understand what's going on and anytime they, they, they may be they may be having any any gig mm -hmm. I'm willing to support all the way right. yeah such a nice boss there <laughs> <laughs> so uh, when it comes to young entrepreneurs and you can uh, you can second me into this mm -hmm. uh, they struggle a lot yeah. to just execute an idea which is on paper I'd like to find out how is it for you? How, how are you able to uh, create a, from an idea on a paper to Cure Ventures to just uh, bring it to real life? And how did you uh, go or maneuver mm -hmm. through the fear and the, child, the, the aspect of just fear of starting something new? You just have to be a risk taker. Tomorrow I'll come to you. <laughs> I have everything in my mind what I'm going to sell, blah, 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 and then you just reject me. Uh, I don't feel you. I don't feel your vibe. I don't feel your tours vibe. But will you go back to sleep? You we'll just have to hit it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You just have to be a risk taker at the end of the day. We all survive by risking. Yeah. Speaking about risking, because I, <laughs> when it comes to an entrepreneurship journey, it always feels like you're jumping out from the edge. Yeah. And you will just uh, have to create a parachute down there. <laughs> I like to find out some of the challenges yeah. that you face uh, as to cure ventures mm -hmm. uh, while starting off the while, while starting off the business. That is, um, 
winning the client's trust. When mm -hmm. it comes to travel, any service, any service you give, you have to win your clients. And trust is, how will I give you money? How will I know you won't bail me out last minute? I won't come to be picked from my house. So you have to win their trust. That is challenge number one. Challenge number two would be the people you're working around mm -hmm. and trusting your clients with the driver and trusting your clients with your colleagues. So you have to really be confident again, take the risk and just hope for the best. But at the end of the day, it's the chemistry. If, if, if you're my employee and you spoil this business, trust me, you, it will affect you as well. Because at the end of the day, clients yes, will bring their complaint here and it will affect both of us. Mm -hmm. This client will never come back again. You need to be paid. So more of it is trust issues. Trust. Yeah, so you have to win. You have to win it okay. from the clients. So Why should I travel with you next? You know, the, the experience we sell, did I have a blast? I don't know if my driver will go and abuse them at their park. Because most of the time, we don't make it for all the trips. I cannot divide myself. Today I'll go with you, but tomorrow I won't make it. You understand? So at times, it's, it's all about trust. That's the number one challenge. And it's all about teamwork, so, trust, exactly. and building the credibility for exactly. your client. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So mm -hmm. just as we wind up, I'd like to find out, uh, what does the future for Tokyo Ventures look like? Um, um, hmm. Wow. <laughs> we believe um, it, it's bright. For me, it's all about winning more clients, creating a certain niche, because mm -hmm. every day we grow. You don't want headache mm -hmm. as, as, as your business grows. You don't want headache. So for me, it's to just win a certain clientele that I want. That is, that is what I see for myself, for the, for the company that is, yes. And to grow, to grow, when it comes to team building, to grow more clients, to grow with them. Because I, I, I really love team building, personally. Mm. It's, it's a journey. It, it trains me as an individual how to grow with my employees and all that. So I want to win more corporates. Okay. I want to gel in. I want to grow with them. Like, why should we choose you again? Yeah. Absolutely. This conversation... Uh, was very much in, uh, informative and very much uh, entertaining. So I would like you to use this particular time to just give us your website and how people can reach out to you, your social media handles, uh, so that they can keep tabs of new projects coming up because we're all about going on vacation, planning to travel as you, re as you resume normalcy. Yes, um, you can find me on Facebook, Insta, oh there, Facebook, Insta, Waringa Tokyo, uh, for Tokyo Ventures, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Tokyo Ventures. All right, there you have it. Thank you very much. Uh, we'll probably uh, definitely have you over again as you look on matters pertaining to Untravel. And uh, uh, guys, make sure you follow up on Tokyo Ventures and keep you up to date on matters of to and travel. So follow us across all our social media handle that is at Y254 channel. Reach out to me at Michelle Ashira. And we have a question for you on our uh, Facebook page. We're asking how often how often do you buy new clothes and uh, where do you get them? How often do you buy new clothes and where do you actually get them? You're looking at quality at an affordable price. Uh, head on to our Facebook page. That is at Y254 channel. And uh, for now, we'll be going to a short musical break and we'll be right back.